can now subscribe for direct access to all our shows online at youtube.com slash uprising with Sonali. Your subscription sustains the TV production of Uprising. The latest oil train incident in Illinois near the Mississippi River has reminded us of the ongoing dangers of fossil fuels. Not only does the extraction of fossil fuels pollute our immediate environment, the transportation is dangerous and prone to accidents. And of course, the consumption of dirty energy pollutes our air and warms our atmosphere, risking the future of the human species. The frustrating aspect of examining the destructive nature of coal, oil and gas is that there are so many alternatives out there that we just aren't utilizing to their fullest extent. Today will examine an industry that is so much promised for cutting down our fuel, fossil fuel consumption that it has the Koch brothers running scared. I'm speaking, of course, about solar energy. The good news is that solar panels are cheaper now than ever before, and they're more efficient than ever. And there are ways to switch to solar, even if you don't own a home or live in a sunny area. Joining me in studio to discuss how much more viable solar is today and to dispel some myths about the industry is Pamela Burton. She's a founder and CFO of Puget Sound Solar, based in the state of Washington. She served as president of Solar Washington. And in a past life, she was the director of the Pacifica Radio Archive. So she's a history with KPFK, where our program is produced. Welcome to the show, Pamela. Thank Thank you so much. So great to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, before we get to the threats uh, to solar, tell us about why it is actually a really great time to be in the solar industry today. Uh, there are tons of solar startups, but you've actually been in this industry for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been at it for 14 years, and the table has now really been set for having a fabulous meal. Okay. We have incentives available, and I want to talk nationwide, of course. Uh, many states are facing the challenges of global climate change within their boundaries. The utilities are looking at what it's going to mean for them to be able to produce additional electricity to meet the new needs of uh, computer, of course, the whole computerized world is growing, and uh, electric cars are important to think about the electricity, where are we going to get that? So. Uh, um, it's it's a, a, a race to get it taken care of, and it's really quite exciting. I go to these solar conferences, international solar conferences. I hear about what's going on in the Middle East, where they are hell bent on going to solar. They're not going to spend. They're not going to you know sell all their oil, use all their own oil, or places like Jordan, where they've been highly dependent on something like propane, which is incredibly expensive. They're going to solar full on. So of course the Chinese now are producing solar with the, um, the opening of their dams, they have a lot less expensive uh, electricity available, so now they can get into it. They could be making the solar-grade silicon, which is, of course, a mainstay of the solar panels, mm -hmm. how you make solar panels. So since they've gotten into it, it's, the price has dropped amazingly. And, uh, and that's something I have to tell people all the time, including the utilities. Many of the utilities are not aware of that. 